there are two modes of programming one is interactive mode one mode is called as interactive and other is called as script mode okay so these are the two types of mode where you can do the programming now what is mean by interactive mode okay so interactive mode uh, is nothing but uh, whenever you are typing your code on the python interpreter directly and you are trying out the small snippet of a code means what uh, you are writing suppose uh, you want to check out whether uh, your for loop is working properly or not or if you are checking out uh, you have uh, written a uh, four to five lines of code and you want to test it okay uh, only for testing purpose uh, you can use this interactive mode okay means what for example uh, whenever uh, uh, you are working on any project of the python so, okay so in that project uh, you have a uh, thousands of the lines of code okay means that is already developed by some any developer okay and you want to you have you have got one uh, requirement like uh, you have to update this okay for example uh, you are working on uh, amazon project for example and it the code is written by a previous developer who was a previous developer and you are new to that system okay so for that complete project that developer has written and uh, the amazon want to add one more tab in their uh, website okay so what you will do you will not write that complete project code you will find out where that tab uh, code is there okay uh, that tab code is stored at which location so below that you will add a small uh, like four to five lines of code to add a new tab in the amazon okay so that snippet you can test or try in the interactive mode so that is called as you are typing a small lines of code and you are checking whether it is giving any error or not if it is not giving any error then what you are doing you are going to use it or uh, copy it into the actual project environment okay you will not directly write the code in the uh, actual project environment because if it is giving any error it will harm to complete uh, code which was written by the previous developer because you are not writing a complete code you are just updating the code okay you are updating the code in the uh, previous uh, for uh, the code which is written by the previous developer so in that case where you are writing that code that is called as interactive mode at some other place you are writing the code uh, for example i have installed a pycharm right now on my laptop so what i will do i will try that code on the pycharm and then i will apply or use that code into the actual project environment okay uh, where your project is stored in your laptop again it is a way of executing a python program uh, in which statements are written in command prompt and result is obtained on the same okay means you can write the code in the command prompt and uh, you will get the result there only that is called as interactive mode i will show you so here in this command prompt also you can write the code directly for example i want to write something but i think i need to go ah okay here you can write a suppose uh, but i want to go to that python location okay now i am at the location of c users geeta so i have to change the directory then in users where my actual python uh, codes are stored that i want to find out your users in that users where i have stored those code uh, all the python code so that i want to find out and there at that location i will write the uh, small snippet of a code on the uh, this uh, command prompt but we are not doing this right now uh, we will be working on pycharm only okay so we will focus on the pycharm this was the old method like people were using uh, that command prompt after installation of python people were using that command prompt to write the code but nowadays there are multiple tools are available to write the python small snippet of a code for example pycharm is one of the way okay so we are writing there only then second mode this was the first mode of interactive mode second is script mode okay so what is happening actually here what you are doing in the script mode so here uh, you are directly you are not writing the small uh, snippet of a code what you are doing you are writing a long programs directly okay you are writing long programs and running it 
means uh, after writing a complete program you will get the output over here but you do not you are not checking the line by line code i am just writing directly the complete code and i will do the program over there okay and then once that program will get executed successfully that entire program will get compiled and i can save that code for a further user uh, uses developer normally what developers are doing normally uh, they are just writing the codes okay what they are doing they are writing the codes for example uh, in their laptop and once they have written the code suppose uh, i am working on one project of uh, google uh, google page development okay so for example this is how the google page is looking like so this is the google page google.com okay i am working on this page for example as a developer so whenever i am implementing anything on this uh, particular window on google window so what i will do i will write the co code for this search this particular search toolbar okay this search window i am writing some code and what i will do i will write a complete program and i will store it at particular location okay uh, so whenever i am storing this at a particular location next time whenever a new developer is coming and i am leaving that company suppose apeksha is uh, there after me and uh, i have stored this particular search window at some place uh, code of this search window at some place so and any uh, new requirement come after uh, i am leaving the job so new requirement requirement came that uh, the color of this search window should be changed now it is white I, we want the color as a blue Means here there should be a blue color so now the new developer has come that is apeksha but whenever she is coming she will not start writing the code from scratch why she will refer the code of the search window which i have created she will open that and she will just change this color okay so this is called a script mode in the script mode the developers are storing their code the complete code at some places and then they are reusing that code whenever it is required next time or if there are some updations in that particular they want to do so that particular code they will use that code and do the updations for example again uh, this is the amazon website you can see amazon so here in the amazon website uh, you can see these are the tabs available okay already these tabs are developed somebody has developed this whenever this project has started from the scratch this these tabs are developed by some developer okay so now amazon has the requirement to add one more tab here uh, regarding uh, like new offers for example i want to add a tab as a new offer on amazon and i am the new developer in the amazon so what i will do i will find out first where the code of these all the tabs is stored in the project okay uh, which is done by the previous developer or the old developer and i will find out that once i will find out that i will get an idea i will get an idea that how uh, where actually like how to write the code okay how to write the code for this particular tab for the amazon website then what i will do i will refer for this suppose health and household and personal care the code of this so what i will get like what is the size of this uh, text what is the color and which color uh, which font they have referred so similar font i will refer for my new tab okay so i will copy most of the code from here i don't have to write everything by myself so what i will change i will change the uh, heading here it is the different heading i want the heading as a new offer so i will change that only okay so in this way actually the developers are working they don't have to write the codes from scratch in any project if that project is already in the work or people are using that system okay so this is called as script mode okay so this is called as script mode of programming okay so this is called as script mode and in interactive mode what we are doing the developers are just only writing a four to five lines of code and they are using that code in your, their program if there is modifications in only the four to five lines of the code then they will try it at their local machine and then they will apply there okay then uh, the next uh, any doubt up to here interactive mode we are going this is how we are writing the uh, print statement okay 
so this is the syntax i syntax is so it is very easy first we will start with the uh, comment okay print statement is also there but comment so for comment in the uh, for writing the comment we are using single line comment we are using hash in c we were using double slash okay in c++ also we were using double slash but in python we are using this hash okay and then i want to write the program means what is the comment actually comment means the thing which we are not we don't want to uh, use actually uh, we don't want that thing to be shown in the program this is the developers are writing this comment for their understanding like this particular line of code is why i have written this particular line of code or the meaning of those line of code i will write in the comment so for writing a single line comment we are using hash okay so this is a uh, hash and for multi line comment again one one option is there that you can for every line you can put this hash 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 okay so this is one option and one more option for the multi line comment is that you can write this triple slash triple quote sorry triple quote from the at the start and at the end okay so multi line comment can be written in the python in two ways first is hash 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 in every line or triple slash at the first line and the last line okay of the comment for example uh, here suppose i want to add one comment here directly as uh, hi so this is my comment okay so again one more way i will show you here to execute the program so right click on this uh, window and then it is a current file or old file so select here the current file is it is running or not some problem is occurring so here it is running let me open one more time so pycharm again i am opening the pycharm pycharm so open the pycharm Okay. And write the comment over here. It is not taking actually main file. I don't know. uh and write you have to write the comment here you can try at your place because i want to install again i think some problem is occurring over here so uh, what you do you just write this uh, comment try this comment as a hi and again you try with this uh, three uh, multi line comments so here while writing multi line comment uh, what you will do you will write uh, you will give the three uh, quote like like this okay one more code which i have written over here so this is how and then you can try it by running at your place i will install once again some issue is coming as for me okay here you can directly write the comment and you can run it okay so you just try at your computer first